Hello, this is Laura with Jot and Tittle Vintage Typewriters. It's time for another typewriter tutorial. And this time I'm going to talk about the Galaxy 2 all-manual typewriter. This is the original gray. Um, but this is a tutorial video. This one happens to be a 1966. Yours doesn't have to be exactly that year. Um, back then, every year wasn't a different model. So um, if it yours was within a few, if yours is within a few years, you're good to go. Even if it's not, a lot of the typewriters type so similar, it will still be helpful to you. But I'm assuming that you either have one that someone gifted you or you found in a family member's home or in a garage sale and you're wanting to know how to use your typewriter. Or you're thinking about what kind you should be looking for. This is the Galaxy 2 all manual. Like I said, this one's 1966. Fantastic machine. Really love it. If you're looking for an unassuming, just workhorse of a manual typewriter, you're going to love the Galaxy 2. So without further ado, let's start from the back and work our way forward. So you've got your... Um, page holder right here, your margins, drag and set. Okay. So yes, everything is manual. You have to kind of shift your thinking from a computer. It's different. This is your carriage where you're going to imprint on your paper. That paper is going to go right here and I'll, I'll show you that here in a moment. But to move this carriage, there's a lever on each side. Doesn't matter which one. You pull it in and your carriage will automatically pull to the left. That's done by a draw band. So there's a draw band in there that creates tension. So when you release that carriage, it's going to want to go this way. And if you get one where a carriage is really loose, loosey goosey, that's a major issue. That means your draw band is broken. You will need to find a typewriter repair person to uh, put a, um, the, and they don't make parts for typewriters anymore. So they have to create um, a draw band with various materials. Um, everybody's a little bit different how they do that. Um, okay, back to how to use the typewriter. I am not a typewriter repair person. My husband does that. So please don't ask me typewriter repair questions. I don't know the answers to them. Okay, right here is the paper release. Again, we'll go over that here in a second. Actually, why don't we just go ahead and do that? So. I just did a demo video where I typed on this typewriter and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use the back side of the paper. So your paper goes right here on the other side of this metal flat piece. Just set it there, turn the handle, make sure that paper goes underneath this bar. That bar holds the paper against the plate and taut. And um, some people choose to put in two pieces of paper. If, there, if you have a typewriter and when you type and you hear like a slapping sound or it's like super loud when you type, you need to probably put it in with two to three pieces of paper just to help with that. That means your plating is super hard and you'll just need that extra buffer. All right, so we've got the paper in there and you'll see that it's nice and even, but sometimes when you load it, it's not even. You don't need to take it out. You have your paper release lever here on the right to pull that forward. Voila! Move it around, adjust it, re-engage that lever. Don't forget to do that. And then over here, we have our one, we have our return handle. So that takes us to the front of the line, kids. And then it also advances a line based on what you have on your line selector. And you'll see this one, two, and three. So single line, double line, triple line, whatever you would like there, okay? Also, you'll hear a bell. After you set your margin, I'm gonna bring mine in. So when you set your right margin and you get close to it, that bell is gonna ding. And that's telling you, hey, you are at the end of your line and I'm about to stop. 
And so you're going to need to hit the return handle and go to the next line. But sometimes you are in the middle of a word. And it stops on you and you're just like, no, but no worries. You have a margin release tab button right here. It says M dash R margin release. Hit that. And you can finish your thought, your word, whatever, and then go to the next line. Now, if you are doing that every sentence, then you are not, do not have good margins set or you need to stop doing that. <laughs> That's not what the margin release is for. That's for the occasional, um, you're in the middle of a word. So you want to try to keep within your margins. And when you hear that bell, hit that return handle. That's what that's for. Okay. I am going to move this carriage all the way to the left so that this return handle is not above the top of the typewriter. And why, you may ask? Well, that's because we're going to take a look inside. And you do that by gently pulling forward. And voila, you're going to find your type bar basket, escapement area, and your spools with your ribbon. So we have put in metal spools. I don't know what yours look like. If you need spools for your typewriter, you're in luck. We have universal ribbon spools on our website that will fit this typewriter. And so you just go to jotandtittletypewriters.com and choose your spool. Any of the universal ribbons will work. And um, voila! Now, if you have your own spools and you just want fresh ribbon, we can do that too. There's a custom ribbon option on our website and you select that, send us your spools, we'll roll fresh ribbon on it and send it back to you. Okay, inside of this wonderful little typing basket, you will see um, the spools and when you put new one, they just pull in and out super, super easy, okay? Um, and when you deal with the ribbon, it's super messy. So just keep that in mind. When you put it in, you want to make sure that ribbon goes through the guide wire right there. There's one right here. And then this little guy is coming out. You've got guide wires here. Now, I can't show you how to thread it because all you would see is this. And that's not going to help you. So the ribbon comes up and around like that. Up and around and I've taken an up close photo of this and if you click on the product listing link in the description below you and even if it's sold you will see the images and you can just um, bookmark that or screenshot it whatever you need for your reference so once you get that threaded when you get to the end of the spool like it's at the end of the spool right now it's gonna stop typing or it's gonna get really faint you, that's a signal that you need to reverse your ribbon, which the lever, reverse lever, is right here. It's, it's hard to see. It's behind the left spool, and it's just a little metal pit, um, lever sticking up, and you just press down or press up. So now it should go this way. And we'll type, 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 type until it's empty, and then we'll go back again, type, 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 until we use up all the ink that's in that ribbon. There you go. All right. Don't have time to go to the sink, so I'll just wipe it and wash it off. All right. Down here is our color selector. Black, I mean, full. Red on bottom, black on top, which is a good reminder when you thread your ribbon black on top, red on bottom. All right. And then the white or clear box in the middle, that stencil. If you try to type on that setting not going to do anything. It's going to look like it's doing something, but then there's no imprint. You're going to be like, what is wrong? Nothing's wrong. You just have it on the stencil setting. So make sure you flip it. And now, hey, it's printing. Woohoo. Um, for those of you who want to see what it looks like printed, again, go to the product listing link. You will see the typing paper um, image of the typing paper on that. Okay. LMH. I'm not sure what it really means. I'm suspecting low, medium, high, but this determines how hard these tight bars are going to strike your paper. Really has to do with your ten the tension or how, like my husband has a very heavy hand. You know, when he's typing, it's like, bam, 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 bam. You know, it's like he's attacking something, you know? And with me, I'm, you know, dancing through the daisies. 
have a very light hand. And so we're going to want different settings. So it just, you just have to mess around with that to see what works for you. So, and your space bar. Oh, let's do the margins. Well, okay. Oh, tab. Did I do that? I think I did it in the other video. Tab. I have one set. But to clear it, you just hit clear right here. And if I hit tab again, it should be clear. And let's say I want to set one. Let's set one right here. Set. Tab. Okay, so now it's set. That's how you set your tabs. If you want to backspace, there's an arrow on the left side. Back, 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 backspace does not erase, folks. It's not a computer. You just backspace. But what if you make a mistake? Oh my goodness, it is not the end of the world. Um, if you are OCD, you're going to rip that paper out and start over. But if you are a typing person, you will know to just X through that, line through that, or type over it, whichever you want to do. And it's okay. All right, so that, there's your space bar, your shift, shift lock. We did margin release. We did tab, backspace. We did it all. And my opinion of who this typewriter is good for Boy, if you just love manual typewriters, and this is a, I mean, it's good for everybody. And I'm going to say that about all typewriters. I know that's kind of silly. For little, little kids, probably not the best one. I would go with electric just because it's hard on the fingers. Um, uh, I would, I love typing on this, but it's hard on my fingers because I have very petite hands. So petite hands, no. You know, if you have just regular size adult hands and you love the feel of a manual typewriter, um, this is great for extensive work or just an occasional letter. It's going to handle it. It's a good workhorse. So it's in a lovely, a lovely machine. If you have one and it's really dirty, it's okay. I would hold on to it, clean it up. It's going to be an amazing typewriter for you. All right. Thanks for watching. You all have an awesome day.